welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy, and oh, has it been a week? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Just been a week. So we're going to move right on into it. I am going to say this, that I'm thinking I'm going to put back um, one of the segments that we had in our old podcast was in the chapel, and I'm thinking I'm going to put that back in. Not this week, but just to forewarn you, next week we will have my little Bible verse. I just like doing that. So totally hooked i have nothing the shawl was finished last week you guys got to see it um yeah <laughs> that's all i have i have other things we'll move right on to in the basket because i have some things there so first one up is a poncho i'm not really liking the way it's laying and it's because it's the first one i've ever made from the top down and i don't really like that this all moves does that make sense? I don't know. Um, it just looks like a cable in there. So I may rip this out and redo it. I'm not real sure. Um, but I mean, it's it's just a, a poncho. It's just pink and pointy in the front. And there's my thing, you know. I don't want to pull that out. Oh, I pulled one out. Ah! Oh, well. Nothing like reworking a stitch because you pulled one out. But anyway... It's just a poncho, and it's cute. Don't know that I like the way it's laying or around the neck. So, I normally don't work them from, from the top down. I normally work from the bottom. So, that being said, we'll see where that goes. Um, next up is, y'all know that I did that block of the month, which is where the sampler afghan came from and the shawl that um yarn was enough to do the shawl two hats um the sampler and now i'm actually got a project that's using it up i'm making an infinity scarf and i'm making it big and lopsy and uh no pulled out another stitch boy okay it's just one stitch not a big deal um so i like to make my infinity scarves to be hitch but thumping to be very loose and airy and the reason that I do that is because I like to be able to put them up over my head and then have the two loops around um, so I've got another one that's really kind of old and whew, this one I think is gonna be a gift but what I've done is I'm going to take and everything that's left over so this will be my last project from the Annie's Attic uh, crochet block of the month thing. Um, I'm going to do the white and then I've got just this much left of the Misty and I have almost a whole skein of the Donahue and I have almost a whole skein of the Steel. So you'll be able to see that you know and the Misty and the Donahue look so much alike. Probably not even going to tell that the, be able to tell that this is Misty and not Donahue. So, yeah. But I am working it on a 10 millimeter N. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Hook, and that's what gives it that big, airy, lofty, stretchy, uh, drapey feeling because if I worked it real tight it wouldn't be but that I mean it wouldn't be very thick at all and I like it like I said to go over my head and I'm just using a a, a treble stitch so yep I've made one before it was with a little bit thicker yarn but it came out just fine so all right so those two are in the basket um, I hope to have the infinity done if if life allows does that make sense <laughs> so okay that leads me into on the wheel and as you guys know I made my first online purchase at virtual wool fest um, I didn't have to pay for hotel excuse me a minute mm. I didn't have to pay for hotel nor my expenses this year so and I just go there as a teacher right now so it is what it is uh, I uh, 
decided to take, and I normally try to purchase fiber while I'm there um, from someone that I haven't tried before. Well, this year I did it virtually, and I found out I suck at buying online um, the fiber. The pictures did not do it. I mean, they look better than the bat that I got. I'm not saying that that's right or wrong or, you know, some of it is color. You know, you got a great camera, but it doesn't upload, you know, the best to the website. I, I don't know. Okay. We struggled with pictures too. And we tried to make them as true as we could to the color. So I had done a blue one and a red one. And... Y'all saw the blue one last week, and this is the red one. Yeah. Let's see if I've got some white paper here. Um, it had more yellow in it than I care to see, and that's not really showing. But yeah, it. it part of it, I thought it was browns and blacks. It is a couple of dark browns and again these were labeled spinning bats um, terminology wise they're spinnable but when you add all of this stuff in that's an art bat this is the stuff that I pulled out of the red one and this stuff right here irritated me to death it's that 70s type mohair it's not real mohair it's just for fee yeah um that was in there let's see here there were actual pieces of yarn in there yep already spun yarn sorry contact uh, there was this cable stuff in there and what's worse is there was a cable piece in here if i can find it that had a knot tied in it and see there's red cable there's multicolored cable. There is strings that I don't even know. Um, but yeah, there was actually a piece of this. Let me see here if I can find it. Of course. And and I did have a pile of this stuff and the dogs got it too. So, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. You know how that goes. But anyway, it, it was a piece of that cable. And I can feel the knot in here. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so, yeah, this was in the back. And you can see there's a big knot right there. So, I'm not really sure why you would want. And this stuff is not thin. This is not thin. This is worsted weight stuff that's in that bat. So... This is an art bat, which would have been fine if it had said art bat. I probably wouldn't have bought it. I don't like art bats. Um, this said spinning bat. So, yeah, there's a little bit of a difference, and I'm not happy. But I'm also not happy with the color. So, you know, that's hard to get online. Um, it's hard to get true color. It's hard to get anywhere which brings me to my next thing is from on the wheel i oh i have an answer for this and it's never going to be wasted uh nothing i have to deal with um it's never going to be wasted because i and i know i'm going to take a lot of flack for this but if i don't like the look of it i plan on over dyeing it and i'm gonna make it match just saying I'm gonna over dye both of these with the same colors um, I use greener shade dyes and so if I get to that next week there will be a new segment called in the pots because in the dye pots is um, where those two are gonna go I'm thinking of purple this blue has some almost purple in it I don't know if you can see that no really can't see it it has hints of some purple and of course we all know if you over dye red with purple you get beautiful colors so um yeah I am going to over dye them with a really 
really dark purple. It will come out looking uh, different, different shades, highlighted, if you will. So, yeah, it'll be fine. But I'll bring my shades, uh, my greener shades dyes, and I will have them here. But we'll get into why I meant that might not happen this week. Okay, here in just a little bit. So those two were on the wheel. I do have an order in for Mary Maxim, which is yarn. Um, I'm doing her. I did the square of the month through Annie's Attic. I'm going to try her crochet of the month club. So maybe that will come in the next week. Who knows? I also have a RH um, Lindsay order in for some consistent fiber. Um, I don't have any of mine washed. As you know, I'm kind of in two places. Half the farm stuff is still at the farm. Um, some of the stuff is here. It's getting there, but pretty much it's just taking time. So um, I also plan on, I think I'm going to do uh, the Shetland. I have a fleece in there. I have one fleece here with me. And I think I'm going to start spin, spinning that in the grease. And I also have to get that mohair off my wheel. I've got to get it done. Blech. It's just so all over you. So, all right. In the farmhouse and RJ's world are about the same thing today. Because, yeah. This morning we woke up to negative 12 degrees in Oklahoma. You heard me. Negative 12 degrees. Um, now, so far, RJ, I've just been concerned with him going out and he's working cattle in this. Um, when the wind lies, it's not so bad. But when that Oklahoma wind blows, what is it, the song, when the Oklahoma winds come sweeping across the plains, holy cow, this morning, not so bad with the wind. So, um... I, think, I don't think RJ has had any problems, but we're just getting to know this house. So, roommate and I have had just a few little glitches. Um, first off, the heater, no, the wood-burning stove. It iced and rained and all of that so much so that it froze the entire... Um, screen thing that's around the chimney flue at the top we don't know how to get up there and thaw it out so yeah it was um the smoke was literally rolling back into the house um it is what it is it was really kind of funny it, it's it wasn't at the time it was happening okay so you have to picture um a flue any place there was a tap screw holding that chimney pipe together there was smoke rolling um there was smoke coming out from around the door I, I mean the whole thing and it has a little blower fan so that when you get the heat going you know you can turn the little blower fan on and it blows it out this way it was blowing smoke out that way <laughs> the whole house was smoked up we put a fan in the thing and then we had to wait for the fire to die down so finally the log got small enough and I was spraying it now you don't want to spray the inside of your wood burning stove with water because it's got fire brick in there and you'll crack the fire brick but I was very careful I streamed and I only put it on the wood when we got the wood wet enough that I could get a hold of that piece and get it out of there we took it out and threw it in the snow now some of our snow banks are pretty deep not for northern standards, okay? But I'm saying like knee deep to me because it was blowing. Oh, sorry. It was blowing. And so some of them are, have drifted really high and some of it's just that much across the ground. So we went out and threw this big log <laughs> in a snow drift. The next morning I went out and looked and if I can find that picture, if I saw that picture, it made a little igloo. The whole thing just sunk in the snowbank and it melted out and you could see and there was a little hole in the top and it made a little dome. So yeah, okay, so wood burning stove, the 
the flue was covered with snow and ice and because it was up in negative 12 degree weather at that point, I think it was only like negative three. I'll be honest with you. I don't think it was negative 12. I think negative 12 was just this morning. So negative three. Um, we did really good with leaving all the water dripping, but yeah, a but. Um, I do better when I have two handles. I can do it. The bathroom, the shower, um, the other bathroom, they all have two handles. Um, the washroom, there's nothing we can do about put a heater in there and pray. So, uh, Sunday morning, I was at work, and when I came home, roommate had everything out from underneath the cabinet in the kitchen. I still have pots and pans on the, the um, cabinets. Uh, reason being is only the hot water had froze up in the kitchen. So, we had the doors open, we had heaters blowing on it. It just, I don't know what changed, but this morning when I got up, and I don't know if it's because we had heaters, okay, not safe probably, but I did it anyway. I stuck a little heater under the cabinet, like opened the doors and put it under the cabinet. We had that going for a while. We had um, heaters going in the bathroom and the whole section of this wall because at the end of the kitchen is where that other little bathroom is and on the back side of that is where the washroom is and that's the hot water that froze up cold water never froze up hmm so I'm thinking it's because maybe I didn't get the you know it's a single handle and I tried to put it like in the middle so it would have both. But how do you really know with those? They're very hard to keep dripping if you're not used to them. So yeah, but I got it this morning and I, I don't know if it's just cause the wind quit and it's, it's bitterly cold outside and it's actually colder today than it was Sunday and Monday. Okay, and we were dealing with the frozen, we were scared the, the pipes were going to break. I'll be honest with you. This is an old house, and the last thing we needed was a water leak. So, um, we tried to thaw it out, you know, had all the cabinets open, had heat going. Um, there is a little crawl space, but yeah, number one, when I say little, it's like this wide and that tall. It's... It's only like two cinder blocks. So you have to be a skinny mini to get under there. And number two, yeah, that crawl space is covered with snow. So it's one of the spots that has a big drift. So I was hoping that the snow would insulate it. Why not? The log made an igloo effect, right? So anyway, we dealt with that all day yesterday. Um, yeah. We've got the walkways cleared and salted. Um, the water's back to running. Okay, and I'm going to say this as lovingly as I can. Why is it that the ice maker never freezes up? Just saying. We still have water to the ice maker, but no water to the sink. And we actually have everything back now. So it's not a big deal. I just have to get off of here and uh, put the kitchen back together. Because we had, underneath the sink, I've got this little cleaning tote thing. And it was down there. And then we've got, um, what do you call it? Grocery bags. Um, we've got some paper ones and some plastic ones. Because we use the plastic ones in the washroom and in the bathroom. And so, yeah. Yeah we use those and so I've got to get all those put back because right over there is a big old pile of bags <laughs> the rat, the cleaning tote is over there all the pans that's near that area because I put the heater under there all those pans are out on the cabinet <laughs> we wanted it open space so that it would you know warm up anyway so I've got to put the kitchen back together other than that 
that is pretty much oh excuse me all that I have for today hopefully if the weather breaks and I get a chance I will have my dyes here I will get my dye pots going um, maybe pick up another fleece or two and work on those um, it just depends on really the weather getting stuff um, I mean at one point I wanted my cam snaps and and uh, some sewing stuff and I have some of it here but I don't have all of it so yeah I gotta get that done gotta get stuff here but it just takes time so I'm gonna get off of here and put my kitchen back together everything's thought out everything's fine RJ he scares me um, because he's out working in this for cattle um, he was home last night and he always texts me I'm in for the night just because at negative 12 degrees this morning uh, this is Oklahoma folks we're not used to it um, I didn't have a problem uh, just saying I drove home I've been pulling two weekend shifts to cover for another girl that uh, has had to be off because of COVID um, and yeah I didn't have any trouble driving home Sunday <laughs> matter of fact roommate was like you made pretty good time yeah well <laughs> no cold isn't my favorite thing I love playing in the snow I took Hitch out and played with him in the snow he loved it but he did find that it was limited he's like mm -mm, I'm not staying out as long so um yeah but I mean I can deal with it it just cracks me up because the hot water in the kitchen is the only thing that was froze off. Well, I think the washer was froze off, but we don't know. I didn't try it. <laughs> I figure if it thaws out, then I'll do laundry. But what better than to have an excuse not to do laundry, right? Just saying. So, alright. Bitter cold. Um gonna re-dye re some stuff and I've got two things on the hook so pretty much you're up to date and I will see y'all next week bye